I really want to stress that you have to understand what you're doing with your arms, hands, and wrist when you play golf. You have to understand how you use them to square the club on the back of the ball. The biggest myth in golf is the big muscles control the little muscles. So a lot of people are turning back and turning through, but they haven't yet found how to use their arms, hands, and wrist to square the club face to the back of the ball. So it's very interesting that you really want to understand that the right arm or trail arm is straightening against your left arm in the bag. See right there, I would be hitting that ball with some forward shaft lean as the right arm straightens into the bag. So you really got to understand it's your arms, hands, and wrists that are squaring this club face. It's very important. See here I am making a swing with my big muscles and not using my hands and wrists. And you can see there is a little set and a little uh, release with the arms and hands, but not a whole lot. And it's interesting that uh, sometimes people say, hey, I'm all arms. And so they get back to here and I go, well, you really need more arms because if the hands go higher, so there's the hands going higher. Oh, that got the body to turn more. That got that around. And I always love showing this to people because I can move my left arm, my right arm, the body doesn't turn much, but the moment I put my left hand where my right hand is, look, my body turn, my hips and chest turn. And then notice if I put my left arm here, well, when my right arm goes there, now my body turns. So in my world, the arm swing turns the chest, the chest cannot swing the arms. And so here I am, and this is passive arms and hands. And look at this, this is me having no control. This is not giving any commands to my arms, hands and wrists. And look at, look at this, this is, that just looks awful. So the truth is to hit a low shot, I really have to learn how to control my arms and my hands and wrists. See there, there I am putting that club right on the back of the ball going through. And so you really want to make these little swings and learn how to put that club right on the back of the ball like that. This is what tour players will do when they're working on their swing. So many times with my students, I say hit a ball 60 yards and they still hit 100 yards. So work on these little swings, learn how to put that club right on the back of the ball and realize you've got to understand what you're doing with your arms, hands, and wrists when you play golf. Thanks.